And it goes a little yeah. something like What's up? It's the Animal Sisters. It's me, Brianna here, and today I'm going to teach you how to record your Dell screen on a school computer. So I figured out a way of how to do it without getting in trouble or like downloading any viruses, any stuff like that. Because I've seen videos of like how to do it in a school computer, but you can like get kicked out because it's software you're not supposed to use and stuff like that. So let's hop onto the computer. As you can see, I am recording with my camera. And what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna go to where it says type here to search, and we are gonna go on PowerPoint. Yes, so you should have PowerPoint on your computer, so let's open that up. We're gonna just make a blank presentation, and your screen should look like this. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to insert and then you'll see something that says screen recording. So we're gonna press that and look here you got like a little thing where you can screen record. You can use your audio, like the computer audio and record the pointer or not. I recommend recording the pointer if you wanna like show something. So I'm gonna go press record and then I'm gonna transfer to the recorded computer screen so you can see how it looks. So I'm going to press record and to end the recording you need to press the window shift and Q key and I'll show you how to do that when we need to. So right now you see my screen is being recorded. Let's just go on to YouTube or some website, like any website I guess. You know we should just go on the Animal Sisters since we're on YouTube so you can check out how the typing is. There we go. So see what pops up. Oh look, Animal Sisters. And this is a reminder guys, thank you so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. That is crazy and an unbelievable number. I know for some of you it doesn't sound like a lot, but for us it is a lot. From going to 100 to 1,000 in just a few months or even a few weeks. So just keep that up guys, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it's free and make sure to follow all our other social media platforms, I'll put them right here because that will also help us a lot too and we appreciate that. And look here are all our videos, alright, I'm just doing random stuff right now and if you want to end your recording, by the way, another way instead of doing the little shift command thing you just go up and then you press pause to like pause it to go onto a different screen or you go to end this is like the end button to end the entire thing so i'm gonna get out of here so if you try to exit out of something try not to hit the top or that thing will go down so to end the recording with the commands you press the windows shift and Q all at the same time. And then, here's your video right here, and if you wanna press play, you can press play and listen to it. Or if you wanna like, go to, where is this? I think it's here, slideshow. We're gonna play from the beginning, and then it has the video and you can watch in full screen. But this is the part that is the most important part probably. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click and then you're going to do save media as. This is so you can like export the video, put it onto a YouTube video like how I was doing right now. So now I transferred back to my, um, what is it called? I transferred back to my camera because I ended the recording if you haven't noticed. I'm going to name this, um, test one two three and i'm gonna save this to my desktop so i can access it easier we're gonna press save and i'm gonna show you one cool tip right now um we're gonna go to file then we are going to options and right here it says customize ribbon press on that and we're gonna go on this side of the screen and where you see recording check that and then press okay 
now you'll have a whole little tab called recording and now you can like you can publish it to steam if you're a teacher or you can export the video like how i just did instead of right clicking you press export here screenshot you can record a slideshow there's just like more options now and you can select the audio you want to use like audio on my pc or if you have like a microphone plugged in then that will pop up so i do not need this powerpoint anymore so i'm just gonna not save it and right here as you can see it says test one two three and if i open it up it'll show the recording and yeah it's basically it so thanks guys for watching please like and subscribe and tell us in the comments down below what you're like our next video to be bye